What's up the Chan Squad? This is Chan Pillin here, your YouTube world. Here's a champion here on YouTube. And I'm coming to my WWE SmackDown review for June 18, 2019. So let's do this, shall we, John Squad? So we kicked our WWE SmackDown live last night with the New Day. And the New Day talk about Kofi Kingston facing Dolph Ziggler in a steel cage at stopping grounds. Dolph Ziggler comes out and talks to the New Day and tells Kofi that he, he, he does not deserve to be the WWE champion and they won't have and that they won't have his back the the next time he goes back to you know that he goes back so that's basically what he says you know back to change it and the, when he goes back to to you know, to his home country, it's going to be an apology tour when he loses the WWE Championship to him. So he tells him that it, it, the, he tells him that it should have been me. As a Dolph Ziggler tells Kofi, so Kofi talks to Dolph and, and tells him that he's been in steel cages just like the Elimination Chamber, and and that he will beat him at stomping grounds and he will remain the WWE champion so then Dolph Ziggler tells Kofi at stomping grounds he 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 won't be he won't remain WWE champion and that it it's in that it's Go, it's going to be, it should have been him, and it's going to be him, and that's, and that ends that beginning of the sentence. So then, the first match on SmackDown was Dolph Ziggler versus Xavier Woods, and during the match, Kevin Owens and Zami Zayn could come on out and, 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 and try to interfere in this match, but then Kofi Kingston and Big E take out Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So they take them out, and then the winner of this match was Dolph Ziggler. So we had a moment of bliss, and and with, with, with Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss, and so then Alexa says Nikki Cross will be in her corner at stomping grounds. So then Bailey, and so they introduce Bailey. So Bailey comes out with Alexa Bliss asks for her coffee, and Bailey comes out with Alexa Bliss's coffee, and she drinks it right in front of her to start trouble. So then Bailey talks to Nikki and, and tells her and, and tells her that um and tells her that and tells Nikki Cross that Alexa is just using her. So then Bailey and Alexa Bliss go at it and basically Bailey and Alexa Bliss start to have a brawl with each other. They start to have a brawl. They fight back and forth against each other and and that what happens there. So then Nikki Nikki Cross pulls Bailey off of her and tells her that is her brand and stuff like that. And then next thing you know is that uh Alexa Bliss kicks Bailey and that's not Mr. Ten that segment. And the second match we had on SmackDown was Heavy Machinery versus the B team with Daniel Bryan and Roman on commentary. And the winner of this match was Heavy Machinery. After the match, out of nowhere, which I did not expect last night to match down, Seth Rollins comes out with a steel chair and starts to take out the B team with the steel chair and hits them multiple times. Wow. So that was pretty funny right there. He just takes out the B team and hits them multiple times with the steel chair on Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. So then we had Drew McIntyre, Shane McMahon, and Elias, and they talk about what happened on Monday Night Raw the following night. They talk about what happened when Roman Reigns, you know, um, when Roman Reigns, um, attacked them, you know, came, came out there and attacked them. So, so basically, uh, Drew McIntyre just says that he wants Roman Reigns. He can't wait to get his hands on him at stomping grounds. That's basically what Drew McIntyre says. So then the Miz comes out and shows footage of, makes fun of Shane Man of, of what happened and when he got attacked by Roman Reigns. The shows footage of what happens. That's what the Miz does. And basically, the shows footage. And so the Miz says he's sick and tired of, of him. 
running this whole thing around and so he used to be the commissioner of giving the land of opportunities and now he doesn't do that anymore he gives his friends the the opportunities and no one else and he always puts his friends on tv more so that's what the miz says and so then shame it man was so shame man makes a tag team match with the miz Versus Drew McIntyre and Elias with the partner of his shoes. So then our truth comes out from the crowd, and so so the funny part was that he the, the Miz had like ten seconds to try to pick a partner, and so the Miz picked our truth and hitting the Miz is like saying this awesome truth is back together from one time only, and uh, I, I marked out for that totally. So then. The third match on SmackDown was an elimination tag team match we had was The Miz and R-Truth versus Drew McIntyre and Elias. And R-Truth gets eliminated, and after R-Truth gets eliminated, um, all the superstars from the back come out, and Sultan Benjamin grabs the 24-7 belt, and he, think, and he grabs the 24-7 belt. The referee says, no, you have to pin R-Truth. So then, what happens next is that... Um, our truth grabs a belt from Sultan Benjamin and just runs off with the 24 7 belt. And our truth actually escapes. So then the winner of the elimination tag team match was Drew McIntyre and Elias after the match was over, right? Uh, Shaman Man beats up on The Miz and then Drew McIntyre does the Claymore kick onto The Miz. Poor Miz. Then we had our truth goes to the parking lot trying to get Carmilla into the car. But unfortunately, there was somebody disguised as Carmilla and Archer saying, like, Carmilla, when are you short and stuff like that? So I oh, thought this was pretty funny because guess what happens here? I started to get all excited for this because guess what happened? And there's a referee that came out of the car and Archer's like this. You're an Uber driver, so that was pretty funny right there. That that was too funny. So he says you're an Uber driver. So guess what happens there? And then he looks, and then he looks and says you're not Carmilla. So then the person discussed with Carmilla was Drake Maverick. Drake Maverick was dressed as Carmilla, right? So he was he, he was dressed as Carmilla, and one. Two, three, we have a new 24-7 champion, and that is Drake Maverick. He drives off in, in the car and says that I'm getting married. So he drives off in the in the car with the 24-7 championship title. The referee saying, like, that's my car. So that was pretty funny. I actually marked out when Drake Maverick won the title because he finally deserved it. After all those Maverick 24-7 shirts, you know, that was pretty funny right there. So Drake Maverick is the new 24-7 champion. Ah, uh, Drake Maverick, that's just too funny. Uh, I'm loving this pretty, I'm loving this 24-7 championship, you know, it's making me smile every time I see it. So, uh, the main that we had on SmackDown was a two out of three balls match, tag team match. We had was Seth Rollins and Kofi Kingston versus Kevin Owens and Z Sami Zayn. <laughs> And the winner was Seth Rollins and Kofi Kingston. They actually got a queen, clean sweep in this one. They beat them two to nothing. And that's what happened. And Paul Heyman was looking, both looking at Kofi Kingston, Seth Rollins, wondering who the Beast and Carnage Brock Lesnar was going to cash in on either Kofi Kingston or Seth Rollins on Sunday. So I don't know who. But anyway, so stay tuned for my predictions this weekend. And it's going to be awesome. So once again, the John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comments down below what you thought about WWE Smackdown last night and what you thought about the 24-7 title changing hands last night. And subscribe for more. You mean a lot to me, the John Squad. I'm happy Jerk Maverick is the 24-7 champion as of right now. And subscribe for more. Once again, please like this video. Leave your comments down below. And subscribe for more. And, it was, and glad I got to see Seth Rollins last night. Peace out, the John Squad.